At 20 years old, pregnant with her second child, Jennifer Stewart didn't believe she could have breast cancer, and neither did her doctors. They just kept telling me that it's nothing, it's nothing, just, you know, part of pregnancy, you know, things change, not to worry about it. But after giving birth, the lump on her breast continued to grow. After a biopsy, her doctor broke into tears when he told her and her husband Luke the diagnosis. He broke down, you know, and he there's tears in his eyes, and um, I just remember being numb. Jennifer had a mastectomy, and 11 years later, she's still in remission, likely due to her early detection. The earlier a woman detects her breast cancer, the more likely she is to survive her cancer, and the less invasive treatment may be. Dr. Charlem says it's important to realize that nobody knows your body better than you do, and you should be checking it on a daily basis, giving yourself breast exams whenever you're in the shower or changing your clothes. What we're looking for when you're feeling around is anything that stands out from the background tissue. And in addition to that, I always encourage women to look in the mirror, look with arms up, with arms down on your waist, to see if there's any difference between one side and the other, to look at one's nipples, to know what's normal. There's a lot of variation on normal, and your job is knowing what your normal is. Now a healthy 31-year-old, Jennifer is telling her story to teach others. It's like that passion for younger people to stand up for themselves and not take no. Um, just you can't take no from your doctors. You have to push them <laughs> to, to do stuff, to do any kind of test impossible. Teaching young women a lesson that could save their lives. Reporting from Port Byron, I'm Dora Scheidel.